Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Andre Laurent from Diagnose. How are you today, Andre? I'm doing very well. You, yourself, Tracy? You've been knocking uh, basically home runs right out of the ballpark here week after week this last uh, month, as you told us you would be. Most recent news, you've uh, entered into an exclusive distribution agreement to access massive global healthcare market in Dutch countries and Central Europe of over 140 million people. That seems like a good start. Why don't you tell us more about this deal? Yeah, we've been trying to get into uh, the, uh, the the Dutch um, area, so that's Eastern Europe, all the German-speaking countries, and uh, and the reason why we're trying to get in there is that uh, the German government, for example, is very very hot about wellness programs and how they can reduce costs, medium and long term, and uh, that's why we're trying to to get in there. So we actually have now the right partner with the right contacts, and uh, so we're very pleased. Well, I think uh, more importantly, you know, you've got the inf- you've got the infrastructure now. You're in Switzerland, Austria. What what other? Am I missing anything else here from the news release? I I was really enjoying your news when I saw it cross the wire. Yeah. Well, we're setting up in those countries. So right now, our partner is setting up in those countries. They've hired the right people. Uh, the market is big. It's a hundred million people plus. It's a very large market for diabetics. And uh, and also for people that suffer from hypertension, so for us uh, it's great. And we did a lot of work in the, in the Geneva, for example, Switzerland before, and uh, the welcoming was very good on the technology. Now that we have a local partner, I hope to accelerate the uh, the installations and the revenue there. So, Andre, many of us are looking at wellness. I was talking to my investment advisor. He thought he had a stroke and was in the hospital all night a couple of weeks ago. And I see here you as well announced a successful proof-of-concept pilot study. Talk to us about this. This sounds very exciting. And and use the AI term as often as you can, uh, Andre, because that's another sector everybody's eyeing presently. Oh, absolutely. You know, I'm very, uh, I, I saw this one coming from a long time ago. And uh, two weeks ago, the uh, the Association of Strokes for in the U.S. came out with a technical. Um, uh, well, the American Stroke Association came out with a um, a study that actually shows the relationship between being diabetic and having a stroke, and mainly about the size of the blood vessels, so the arteries and veins. And what we do when we take the picture of the retina, we see the arteries and veins, and we see the impact of that. So they came up with this study and they, they did the 1,200 people. And so it just supports what we've been doing for the last three or four years. And as I promised you, very soon, we're going to have a clinical trial in the U.S. very, very soon and also in Canada. The pilot was very successful. It demonstrated what we're looking for. And it's to identify people in the early stage of being at risk of having a stroke. So the reflection of the size of the blood vessels and other little things that happen in your eye actually reflects that. And the conclusion of our pilot was it did the reflection at 99%. All right. Well, if that doesn't give you something to look forward to, um, you're putting out news regularly. I mean, all of these things we're talking about are just in the last four weeks alone. You also made a you signed with the third largest optical retailer in Costa Rica. Uh, Piloting Kara, could you tell us more about this deal? Yeah, so we just finished the installation, and this is the third largest optical store, and they are just trying out the technology, and they're very, very, uh, very happy. They're very uh, pleased with the the outcome. We started uh, about a week and a half ago. So the idea there is to start with one store, then two and three, and then go all the way up to finish uh, implementing this in all their stores. It's probably going to take the next 12 to 18 months. But it's going to increase our revenues monthly, and it's a very, very practical model over there. It really, really helps patients to make sure they don't, you know, either lose their uh, vision or even go into very expensive medication. Because in Costa Rica, the cost of living is still uh, significant when, when you're sick. So what should investors out there, you know, why should they be looking at Diagnose now? I'm going to put you right on the spot because... Every time I talk to you, I'm like, ah, oh, you know, this is an exciting story. You know, I need to be involved in diagnose. Can you tell us why they should be so excited? 
I'm going to tell you why. Number one, this pandemic is going to slow down, uh, you know, probably mid-year or around September. Uh, our, our customer base is going to restart probably in July. So we're getting set to actually increase our revenues. We have very little debt. We have $125,000 of debt. We only have 65 million shares. So we're not diluted with like, you know, other uh other companies that have two, 300 million shares out there. We're creating the value for the shareholders. We're creating value for the patients. And, and I think that the patients will actually be our, our, our best seller at the end of the day. And I promise you some things are coming and they will come. So uh, that's why. Well, you heard it here at Investor Intel. Andre, thank you so much for joining us. And please promise me you're going to start doing these once a month with me. Absolutely. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Bye-bye.